Hey friends and welcome back to Sewing From Scratch. If you are new here, I am Kate and this is where I teach you everything I know about sewing and we learn more together along the way. Today we are talking about Amazon, specifically Amazon Prime. We're gonna get into the upcoming Prime Days, which starts tomorrow. A few tips and what to look for if you are shopping for yourself as a sewist or other sewers in your life, maybe for Christmas. It's only, I know, you don't wanna hear it, 10 weeks away. Now, before we get started, I do just wanna say that I personally and my husband, we really prefer shopping local and supporting small businesses or family-run operations as much as possible. However, we do hold a Prime membership because for us, it's worth it for the free shipping. But if you are a highly ethical person who will not, under any circumstances, support the monster that is Amazon, go ahead and click out of this video. I salute you. Thank you so much for clicking on the video in the first place, and I'll catch you in the next one. Now, for my fellow morally weak humans, Let's get into Amazon Prime. If you do not hold a Prime membership, I will leave a direct link down below in my description box that you can click to get set up. It is very simple. Of course, they make this all very simple for you. And then you'll be able to access everything I'm talking about immediately. First up, let's quickly touch on what Amazon Prime is for those of you who might not know. Now, while you've probably heard of Amazon in itself, you might not have heard of Prime or maybe you just don't know what the difference is or that there is a difference. Prime, Amazon Prime, is a membership subscription based service that you pay a low monthly fee for and then you get an entire host of benefits. The most well known of that is the shipping, the free Prime shipping. When you go on Amazon and you don't have a Prime account, there's going to be shipping fees associated with every single item on there mostly every single item I think. Anyway, if you hold a Prime account, beside the majority of the items, there will be a little icon that says Prime. That means it is in their warehouse, in their Amazon warehouses, and they offer free same day shipping in some centers. So I'm, that would be where, they ha where you have a warehouse. So, you know, the big centers, not where I live, but for the rest of us in the rest of Canada and the rest of the world, you can get free two-day shipping normally. So for $7.99 Canadian a month, that is totally worth it. Because even if you purchase one thing, Canada Post shipping is quite expensive. So purchasing one thing a month, that really pays for itself. You will also see on icons on that with that little Prime icon on your app or on your computer, you will see that you get exclusive deals from being a Prime member. Now, along with the free shipping and the priority and the exclusive offers, you also get access to Prime Video, Amazon Prime Video. This is basically Netflix. I mean, can we say that? Like Netflix is the standard, they're their own thing, it's a video streaming service, Amazon is the same type of deal. We have an app on our TV, we click it, we watch stream TV shows and movies. They have their own shows that they produce as well as other shows on there. I find a lot of um, like older type of shows, like Roseanne was on there at one time. I don't know if it still is, I think it is. Some of the shows that we really enjoy on there are Friday Night Lights, ah! It's like one of my all time favorite shows. And we also enjoy the Anthony Bourdain shows that are on there, Anthony Bourdain, his foodie type shows. We really like watching those. And also there is a show called Miss Fisher's Murder Mysteries. We were really into that too. There's also different kids shows on there from Netflix that I find. And along with all this, you also get Amazon Music. Now, what is Amazon Music? basically Spotify. So I actually, I kind of knew about this, but I didn't have it on my phone. I, I checked it out. It is basically Spotify. You can listen to stations, you can listen to playlists, you can create your own playlist. 
And also on Amazon Prime Music, you can download to listen offline and you can also use Alexa. I don't know, don't even think you need to own an Alexa or Amazon Echo. I think you can just use it on your phone. You have to turn on your microphone, so I didn't do that. But if you know, leave it in the comments so other people can read through and see what's up with that. And you get Amazon Prime Reading, which is in the Kindle app. And again, I didn't know about this, so I checked it out. And you just go in the Kindle app, you go to the store in there, and then you click on Amazon Reading, Amazon Prime Reading, and all of the books that you see in that section are free ebooks that you can download and read at any time and for any length of time. They are yours to read at your leisure. And I also think there is a gaming service, but I couldn't really find out too much about that. We don't game, so I didn't really look into it, but I think there is a gaming service for Amazon as well that is included with your Prime membership. And the last thing about Amazon Prime is you get access to Prime Days, which start tomorrow. So October 13th and 14th, you will have access to a whole bunch of deals that are only for Prime members. Now, this can be super overwhelming, as can just Amazon in general. So I wanna break it down into some tips to keep you on track and not, not get too overwhelmed and be able to find what you're looking for and get some really great deals. So I'm gonna start with the three, with three of the tips that Amazon has on their website or on their app that are helpful to make your shopping experience easier. Number one is the alerts. So you can actually go into Amazon and you can click to be alerted on the deals. So you'll get alerts twice a day on Amazon Prime Days and it'll tell you if something goes on sale, how much and Basically, if it's there, grab it because it might not be in stock if you wait. And don't worry about like combining because you have Amazon Prime with free shipping. Next is the deal badges. So this is for on the day of Amazon Prime Days. There will, you'll see Amazon Prime deal or Prime Days or it'll, there'll be some sort of little badge there for you to know that that is a Prime deal that will not come around again. And if you're interested, you should hit it up. And the last thing that Amazon that I want to mention from the Amazon tips is that you can do this on any device. So your computer desktop, your laptop, your cell phone has the, if you have the Amazon app, it is super, super easy and they make it really easy to shop. Like probably the best shopping app that I know of. Of course they have how many dollars behind it that make it that way. But yeah, very, very good to use. And you can like tablet, I think you should be able to get the same app and all that. So they make it very user-friendly and easy. So if you do not have the Amazon app on your smartphone, I do recommend it. And now I have a few tips that I think make things easier, but also keep you kind of on track. So number one, what I like to do is I like to add things to my cart as I'm browsing. So if something pops into my head and I'm like, oh, I need tracing paper. So I'll go find my tracing paper, add it to my cart. Maybe something else comes in my mind. Maybe there's something for my kids, like a game or a learning resource or a Christmas gift. I'll add it to my cart and then what I can do is I can just, it's all in one spot and I can just go back to my cart and it'll actually notify you if things have changed price in there. So you can kind of keep track of it that way or you could add it to a list as well. I don't find the lists as user friendly, maybe just cause it's a, like an extra step for me. And then it's all there and it's ready and you can just check out right then or you can save things for later and then it just goes into a separate category and you can check out with the things actually in your cart and then the rest will be saved for later whenever and i don't think that ever expires i have stuff in there from like years ago so the next two tips kind of go together and they are have a list and have a budget and stick to it it can be really I don't know, stimulating and there's like, of course there's all these deals, but you can't buy everything. I mean, if you do have that kind of budget, then like whatever, shop however you want. But most of us <laughs> cannot just buy everything that we see. So have a list, especially if you're shopping for Christmas, have a list of who you wanna buy for and some ideas of what they might like or maybe some of their interests and things like that that you can kind of sift through and narrow it down. And then if you're shopping for yourself, of course, you need lists too, which I'm gonna get to in a second of what you might be looking for. And then your budget. So just because it's on sale doesn't mean it's going to be the best deal. And just because it's a deal doesn't mean it's going to be in your budget. So maybe your child is asking for something 
quite substantial like a gaming system and your budget is only a hundred dollars and that gaming system is regular I don't know what they go for like let's say six hundred dollars I have no idea regular six hundred dollars comes on sale for three hundred dollars totally wild example I don't know if this is even relatively in the realm of possibility but that three hundred dollars is still three times what you wanted to spend so just don't get caught up in that like even though oh i'm saving three hundred dollars yeah but you're still spending two hundred dollars more than you wanted to so just you know have your budget stick to it and kind of try and keep your blinders on because it can be super overwhelming and they like to throw things at you like oh you need a new mattress oh i heard you talking about roller skates here's the roller skates list oh Oh, your friend posted something about such and such a book? Here, here it is. Buy it for them. You know, it's creepy, right? So just have your blinders on, have your list, have your budget, stick to it, and you will do just fine. Now, let's get into the fun stuff. What might you be shopping for in regards of sewing? If there's not really anything specific that you're looking for, I am going to link my Amazon favorites shop down below in the description box. So you can just click there and browse if that's what you want to do. But I am going to go through some specific examples and I will have them each linked individually down below in the description box. So you can just hit the direct link. It'll take you there. You can add it to your cart and then watch for it tomorrow when the sales start. If you're totally new to sewing, you might be shopping for a sewing machine. I recommend the Singer Heavy Duty. I checked it just before I started filming this video. The prime price on that was $350, I believe. So definitely more than I've seen them for in the past. So maybe it'll be on sale coming up tomorrow. I don't know. So add it to your cart. I do think that is beginner, a great beginner machine. And just if you don't want to spend a lot of money, that is a great place to start. If you're also a beginner sewer, you might be looking for things like needles, pins, scissors, rotary cutter, mat, uh, seam gauge, all the things that you need to sew. So those are some options. So you might be looking for things like projectors. There's all kinds of different projectors. I'm just gonna leave the link to the search page and you can check out different ones. There's also a Facebook group that I'm part of called Projectors for Sewing, I think. And that's really good if you're looking for which projector to get and yada, 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 do your research today so you're ready to buy tomorrow. You might be looking for a new iron, maybe a cordless iron, maybe an Aliso iron. Those are great things to try and find on sale because you might be able to get a higher quality one for the same budget that you would have paid for a mid, mid quality one. Sewing books. There's a couple that are on my wish list. One that I'm hoping for for Christmas is No Patterns Needed and the other one is Freehand Fashion. So there's, I mean, there's more. There's a lot of sewing books you can find. You can find sewing books specific to fabrics or specific to couture practices or really anything. So browse the sewing books add them to your cart. Maybe you're looking for a camera to photograph your makes. These are electronics are great to get on sale and I can almost guarantee that we will see some of that in prime days. If you're looking to treat yourself or upgrade your practice, maybe you want a dress form or a sewing mannequin. I will say these ones probably aren't the, the like the nicest quality or the best ones that you would get from a specialty shop, but they are less expensive and probably get the job done. Something I really like to buy on Amazon is elastic. I just find that it comes faster and I can get it in what I want, when I want. And some of my favorite fabric shops run out of it sooner than I can buy it. You also might be looking for organization ideas for your sewing room or your small sewing space. I do have some of those linked in my Amazon favorites shop, but I will leave some direct links as well. Things like bobbin holders or thread holders or um, just little cute little totes or really the possibilities on organization are endless and I am an organization freak so I will be sure to leave you some great options down below. A couple other things I like to buy on Amazon are interfacing and hardware, things like grommets or buckles or bag hardware, uh, things like that. I've also bought presser feet on there in the past. Just make sure that it is compatible with your machine. The biggest thing you'll be looking for is if your machine has a shank or not, or like the presser feet needs a shank or a shank adapter. And if you just type in uh, like the make and model of your machine, for example, FAF 610 presser feet, uh, something should come up. 
shop if there is anything available. I will also link that the video I did on Press Your Feet down below. Uh, I bought a kit from Amazon. They do not fit my new machine though. They only fit my backup machine. So again, just make sure that they're going to fit your machine. Read reviews, ask questions, read the questions, etc., etc. And the last thing I'm going to mention is supplies for your vinyl cutter if you have one. This can be things like blades or markers or other tools or the actual materials themselves like cardstock, vinyl, that kind of thing. Now the last thing I want to talk about is Audible because this is not included in Amazon Prime. Just I just want to make that clear. Audible, which is audio audiobooks, is not included in Amazon Prime. Unfortunately, I wish it was, but it's not. So Audible is its own thing. You pay $14.95 Canadian a month and you get credits towards audiobooks. So the reason I am bringing up Audible, even though it is not associated with Amazon Prime, is because there is a deal on right now and it ends tonight, Monday, October 12th at 11.59 Pacific time. And with this, you get 30 days free. So in those first 30 days, you're gonna get two credits towards audiobooks. And then after that 30 days, your credit card will be charged $14.95 Canadian. And then you will be you will receive one credit per month after that towards an audiobook. But in that first month that you pay, you're also going to receive a bonus credit. So you're essentially getting three free credits in this whole deal. That's kind of how it works out. And what a credit means is you can borrow or buy with your credit, uh, trade, whatever you want to call it for an audiobook, you can start listening to it. If it's something you don't like, you're not stuck with it, you can exchange it and you can pick something different. So one audiobook a month for $14.95 does sound kind of steep, but when you think about it, you're not like, can you listen to more than one a month? I know I wouldn't be able to, but if you do a lot of, you know, solo time, like exercising or driving, you know, anything like that or cycling, then Audible is wonderful. And if you do listen to more than one book a month, you get 30% off any future ones that you purchase. If you can't wait until your next credit, but remember you're getting extra credits when you sign up. And those don't ever expire, they roll over. So if you miss a month, you don't get, maybe you don't pick a book that month, it'll roll over to the next month, and then you'll just have two to spend. You also get unlimited access to their podcast section, which has a large library of whatever you wanna to listen to. Basically all kinds of podcasts that you could find anywhere else, you can also find on Audible and you get free access to all of those with your monthly payment. And of course, I will leave a direct link to the Audible deal down below as well. So that is going to be the end of this video. I hope it was kind of helped you to understand what Prime is, what Prime days are, and maybe give you a little ideas for some Christmas gifts or maybe things that you wanna ask for in terms of sewing things. Just Thanks so much for watching. Happy shopping, don't overspend, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.